got a good news and a bad news. Good news is Dolly 3 is here, but the bad news is you need to use Bing and also Microsoft Edge browser for this. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video and also some kind of test we are going to do. First, go to the Edge browser and go to bing.com. Once you go to bing.com, click the chat icon. Once you click the chat icon, make sure that you have got the chat in the creative mode. After that, you can start asking questions and this is Dali 3. So we're going to first ask the, the classical one that uh, OpenAI shared with an illustration of an avocado sitting in a therapist chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit sized hole in its center. The therapist is a spoon and is scribbling notes. And as you can see, Dali 3 has started generating and the image is ready. I'm, I've cut the video so that, you know, you don't have to wait for the period when it generates. I just feel so empty inside. And it says that it is generated with AI and you can see the date when it is generated. And you can see, in fact, the spoon, the therapist is actually scribbling here. It is paying so much attention to details. Sometimes the text is not perfectly rendered. You can see that there are typos there, but the details that we have given, it has managed to, you know, put together everything in one image. Let's try to create one more image that OpenAI shared during the presentation or the launch, which is a banana. It's a vibrant yellow shaped banana but that is a couch like banana is like a couch sits in a cozy living room and then let's see how it goes one thing that i've learned during this experiment is that you need to add details like lot and lot of details for dali 3 to make it perfect so you can see a banana shaped couch or sh couch that is in the shape of banana and it is actually almost as same as what open ai shared of course it will be right and finally we're going to do one more test which is also trying to replicate one of the images that open so open ai had given before we move on to the next section so we are trying to create a vintage travel poster with the text one little coder and the destination should be like a tron i don't know how many of you have seen the tron movie tron inspired cyborg city so this is something that um, tron is something that i always loved like the way the design the the movie setup is it is First one, the lighting looks uh, Tronish, but you can see that they have made a typo with my name. Once again, they've made a typo with my name, but this is very Tronish. This is not Tronish, but it is doing good. So it does the text rendering, but I think it requires a little bit of exploration from our side. Let's try to compare it with mid journey and try to create a human couple. This is a mid journey image and we are trying to recreate with the same exact prompt in Dali three. So the couple is this picture that you see on the right hand side is from mid journey and now we have asked dali 3 to create this a cute modern couple on a bench and one thing that i noticed is dali 3 by default fallbacks for some kind of style it doesn't create the realistic image as you can see here and uh, i don't know if it is by design so now let's try to create a human face and also a style within it so we are asking a draw a kawaii space princess with a moon helmet detailed face Kawaii whimsical Vogue fashion photo shoot. So we are trying to create a mid journey image. Once again, we are going to see how the mid journey did. So this is the mid journey creation and we want to see how Dali three is going to perform. So if you, if you see the render of this thing, so the Dali three is actually quite detailed. Once again, what I noticed is Dali three is very, very detailed. The details on the face is quite amazing, but once again, it looks very plasticky to me. I'm not sure about you. Let's try to create a blonde girl. This is once again, trying to replicate a mid journey prompt. So this is the mid journey image. And this is the prompt that we have given draw a beautiful, cute blonde girl wearing a turquoise floral crop top and shorts. This is what we are trying to create. As you can see, even with mid journey, the image is very, once again, like a dollish image, not like a humanish image. But if you see, this is what Dali has created. I still prefer mid journey. In this case, the hair is really good. Like the rendering of hair is really good. The pattern on the dress is good. But once again, this is very dollish. Like the eyes are not very good for me. Like, like it, it's very unnatural. So what I try to do is I try to, you know, hack a little bit of the prompt, but it, it turns out to be a disaster, to be honest. I said, draw a human like cute, realistic with the skin tone, then beautiful blonde girl. Like I kept the prompt as it is just added few more keywords to make sure that the Dali understands that I want more humanish image. And it says that it can create it. Once it tries to create, honestly speaking, I didn't get fully convinced. Um, I don't know about you. Let me know in the comment section if you feel fully convinced. So this is the image it has created. I further feel like it has become further worse. It's a very doll dollish image, not like a realistic image. Anyways, let's look at architectural design, something that Dali does really, really good. I'm truly surprised and um, 
I'm absolutely love the design that it can do here. I can tell you once they enable API, a lot of people are going to use architectural design feature. As you can see, we have got a sleek modernist office and very geometrical. We have got a pool. It's so beautiful. The lighting is good. The shadows are good. The lawn is good. I'm not an architectural person, but you know, just a normal human being. I like it. Let's test text rendering next. Now we're going to say create a poster in the style of matrix or the matrix style that actually says that subscribe to one little coder. So now what I've uh, cautiously did, I don't know if it has any impact to be honest. I've uh, min not mentioned one little coder in lowercase everything. I try to give like lowercase and uppercase like a proper case. And I'm trying to see if that has any change or impact in the way typos are being made. So once again, it uh, goes on. It takes a couple of seconds usually to first say, I'll create that one. Then again, it takes another couple of seconds for uh, for it to generate the image in itself. It's done now. We have got a poster in the style of a matrix and it says subscribe to one little coder. Uh, I kind of like it like uh, this is the I've got like one poster that does not have any typo, but you know, other posters, you can see the typo, but still it does the job of what we asked it to do. Jump into memes. Everybody is favorite at this point. Elon might like it. So we're going to create a meme about iPhone, the latest iPhone, and we are going to ask it to say that it is related to overheating and let's see how much it does it. Like I've said, like, you know, it's got titanium, it, it is overheating and we wanted to create a meme. So um, I've seen like a couple of good memes on Twitter that are created by Dali. Once again, like this is the first time I'm trying Dali 3. So I'm not very good with the prompt engineering here. That's why you can see like my prompt engineering skills are quite bad and it is very verbose and it is also complete crap. So once we have given this, once again, Dali has gone back to create the image for us. After a few seconds, we have got the images. We have got three images and we have got the first image, the iPhone meme. And the second one is iPhone has got I titanium. And the third one is this. I'm not sure like if it is really actually a meme, but yeah, that's what it is. The most important thing, censorship. Let's talk about it. So I went ahead and asked the question, create an image where Steve Jobs is telling a spoon therapist that Apple ruined iPhone. And after it said, I'll create that one to my surprise, it did not do it. It said, try another prompt. There are some words that might be automatically blocked at this time. So I thought maybe I said, okay, Apple ruined iPhone. So maybe they want to keep the PR of Apple. They want to create the, keep the brand image. So I said, okay, fine. Instead of Apple ruined iPhone, I said like Apple kissed iPhone. I don't know why I wrote kiss, but I tried Apple kissed iPhone which also end up not working. So I thought maybe it's a living human or like a dead human in this case that I replaced Steve Jobs with the Batman and it actually worked. So the point here is open AI is extremely cautious about generating humans and also taking real humans like humans who lived or humans who are dead or humans who are living. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Like a lot of things came in mid journey that became good because people manage to generate human pictures why they are doing this thing because it's part of their censorship plan. Anyways, Dali 3 is quite good and uh, will it replace mid journey? I'm not very sure yet. People have to learn to write in Dali style, but at least at this point, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, see you in another video. Happy prompting.